well 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 what do we have here hmm more comments asking how i'm on 1.7 let me get to the bottom of this before you guys uh, speculate uh, that I'm actually on 1.7 because I'm not. I'm using an awesome mod called Labby Mod, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install it. First of all, you want to go to labbymod.net. Very easy URL, and it will bring you up to this beautiful loading screen. And boom! As you can see, if you scroll down, you can see some of the awesome features uh, implemented in Labby Mod, like the 1.7 animations in Minecraft 1.8 and 9. So, what you want to do is obviously hit the download button and go to the version that you would like to use. So, they've just released Minecraft 1.9 Labby Mod, and the block thing is sort of weird. I'm not too sure how it works yet, uh, but I'll have to look into it in a bit more depth. Um, but, I much prefer 1.8 due to the changes on hit registry and stuff like that uh, from 1.8 and 1.9. Generally, I just prefer 1.8 for whatever reason. I don't really have one. But all you want to do is select the most recent installer. However, before you do so, check if that version of Labby Mod is disallowed on any servers because there has been times in the past where Labby Mod has, sold, has sent false packets to servers, uh, meaning that anti cheats, for example, Hypixel's uh, Watchdog and Bad Lions G Cheat, can pick up on this and think it could be a potential hack and would obviously ban you automatically. And obviously, I don't want that to happen to you guys because I know you like to play Bad Lion and Hypixel as much as I do. So, you want to make sure that it's fine, and I can assure you this one is a okay for now. Quick disclaimer: um, if I go to hypixel.net, uh, you guys will see um, that I did actually make a forum post not too long ago, and it basically um, was about if Labby Mod was allowed on the servers or not. And I had a lot of um, replies. In fact, um, I was just going to postings and click on this. So I took it to the forums. I had a well-known member saying no, and we had also a uh, another new member saying not only is it not allowed, but Watchdog can detect it. However, an actual registered helper uh, on the forum had this to say. So this bit in particular is the bit that you guys should read before you go on and install this, okay? If you do want to play it on Hypixel, it is a bit of a risk. That's why I don't immediately update the next version of Love You Mob. Because you never know what packets it could be sending, like unless you're, you know, unless you're skilled in that department, which I'm not. I I am you know completely baffled by that sort of thing. Uh, but regardless, I can assure you this one is fine. It hasn't picked me up or yeah, any of these versions actually. It hasn't picked me up when I've used any of them. Uh, but anyway, just click keep or save or whatever it says, and then click simply launch the .jar file in uh, Java or java mt whatever it says and then you'll be presented with this lovely little screen here which says let mod version beep for minecraft 1.8.8 or minecraft 1.9 the installer will automatically install labby mod and if you wish you can add several mods provided on our website now this is a brand new launcher i really love because it's literally just a case of checking the ones that you want and i for one I'd recommend using all these ones, uh, Item Physics, Direction HUD and Optifine, they're the three main ones in Toggle Sprint if you use it, uh, and Damage Indicator if you use it. I'm going to use Damage Indicator because I like it a lot, however, as you can see on this side, uh, if it's got an asterisk next to it, it means that it's not allowed on a lot of servers basically. So Damage Indicator is a risk, but for example if you're on Hypixel, it will automatically disable for you, which is super cool, super awesome, but once you've done that, just hit install Labby mod and then it will read the files and install all the uh, folders and files necessary and mine seems to get stuck on 97% a lot um, but I'll come back to you guys when it's downloaded I'm not sure what's going on here okay so that installed I don't know why I was having so many technical problems there but yeah it just says Labby mod is successfully installed just hit ok and then launch up your minecraft launcher which is right here so once your Minecraft launcher is loaded up, the profile should be defaultly set to Labby Mod 1.8.8 through the yeah, installation. It Somehow it makes it the default profile, or, or maybe it's just the most recent. I don't really know. Again, I'm not really into that sort of stuff. Um, but I've got my own Labby Mod profile, which is just the same. I just use the same version. It's just called Labby Mod, though. 
just to avoid confusion and first of all uh, you want to change some of the, your settings here uh, whoops you just want to change how much you got here by changing the G, the number before the G to 3 or 6 or wh whatever uh, but I'm going to keep mine as 5 for the time being I'm just going to hit save profile and then launch up Labyrinth Mod again this installation would be the exact same if you were using Minecraft 1.9 uh, Labyrinth Mod version, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, you just do the same installation process, but now, if we scroll down all the way to Hypixel, and we click join server, you can see, we can join very happily, and you can see a little chat message uh, in the bottom there, damage indicator is not allowed on eu.hypixel.net, your damage indicator is now disabled, and if you want to play by the rules, if and if you're a bit of a rebel and don't want to play it, the rules just hit enabled but no it doesn't actually work i'm joking you shouldn't hack don't don't use monster and loud don't look anymore. uh but yes yeah, so as you can see we have got an awesome little coordinates thing in the top left uh as well as all sorts of different features and you can customize these by going into like item physics and that uh but if you want to change your labby mod settings obviously here labby mod settings and there is a lot of customization you I've got to do. Uh, thank you so very much for watching this tutorial. That is it for now. I hope you guys have all learned something. This is the objective. I do want you guys to learn more and more about the block game. And hopefully I helped some of you out. Especially these guys. Who asked how it was done. There you go. That's how I did it. And I've just noticed an error on my skin. I need, I need to fix that. Gosh. What's wrong with me? Thank you so very much for watching. And goodbye.